good. I feel great. Yeah, I mean, what, what's not to feel great about? I got the best fans in the world. I mean, your hairstyle is really amazing. Thanks, man. <laughs> so, okay, you so. too, you look great. Did you use a little gel today? No, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Zero. You woke up like that? No, no, yeah, exactly. So you went Beyonce so, on that shit. Uh, is this your <laughs> first time in Poland? No. Uh, my third time. Third. No. Do you remember anything special? Uh, I remember um, the first time I came here, I, I came to Warsaw first, and um, I remember a little boy sitting on a little stool in the square and he was playing a little tiny um, accordion and he had a little cup you know and my tour manager put like two american dollars in there and he got pissed <laughs> he was like what do i do with this <laughs> and i was like oh my god he was like a little old man he was so cute and he was just like he was a total businessman and i was just like children are very serious here <laughs> It's cute because uh, every time I hear something about vodka and pierogies, and it's awful, you know. <laughs> when you I know that's the worst. It's like hamburgers and French fries or whatever in the states, and uh, you know, exactly. and weird presidents. So, I asked him, "Is this the first time in Poland? Obviously, not. This is the third time in Poland. When we talk about the origins, what did you remember the most? Of course, everyone always says that vodka and pierogies are amazing. Thanks to God, this time it's different. He told me the story about how he came to Poland from a place where he met takiego małego chłopca, który grał na e, akordeonie e, i, i ktoś, kto jej towarzyszył, e, wrzucił mu dwa no, amerykańskie dolary, po czym młody się oburzył, co ja mam z tym zrobić, to jest za mało. Prawdopodobnie na baciki. E, let's talk about uh, your new album. Can you describe me the feeling? What's it like when you're holding in your hand, you know, something like that? Oh, the new record? I don't know, you know, because I, I haven't, I held one for the first time the other day. There you go. You, oh my God. It feels so good. Yeah, it's a good feeling. It's a lot of work, you know, a bunch of work, but yeah, it's good. That's it, just just a lot of work. <laughs> no, I just feel like um, it's you know my life, and it, it comes down to like ten songs at a time. You know, I mean, there's many more, but but yeah, it's a very uh, uh, I'm very lucky and very happy to do what I do. It's uh, it's like a, an honor to be able to do it. And to share it with people, and, uh, so I know there's so many emotions. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's my life's work, so I'm happy. Zapytałem, jakie to jest uczucie, e, kiedy się trzyma w dłoni własną płytę. Na początku odpowiedziała, że po prostu to jest dużo pracy. E, I to jest w zasadzie jeden z pierwszych razów, kiedy w ogóle utrzymają w dłoni. Pocisnąłem trochę dłużej, żeby naprawdę odpowiedziała, jakie to jest uczucie. I to jest niesamowite uczucie, bo to po, pierwsze, po pierwsze to jest dużo pracy, a po drugie mnóstwo emocji w to włożonych. No bo wiadomo, że artysta zawsze musi to wszystko włożyć, masę emocji. E, a przede wszystkim, że to jest fantastyczne uczucie, że można robić coś takiego i jednocześnie mieć uznanie ze strony ludzi, czyli z waszej strony. Teraz odpowiedziała, że ciągle mówię bla, 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 bla. I get it. Okay. Uh, so, um, do you have your target audience when you're recording or, or writing songs? Uh, no, I don't. I just have, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think the people that are meant to hear the song and, and are going to be drawn to it are drawn to it. There's nothing I can really do to... Uh, to try to, it's like, it's kind of like, I guess, uh, trying to make people like you, you know, it's like trying to act a certain way so people like you, it's, I don't think that works in the end, you have to just do what you do and see who comes around. Zapytam, czy jest, e, czy ma taką specyfi specyficzną publikę, dla której pisze, czyli czy kiedy pisze, e, ma konkretną grupę, o, bardziej dla której pisze, okazało się, że nie, bo to byłoby tak, jak, jakby na siłę przyporządkować się komuś i, i, i spróbować się komuś spodobać, to oczywiście jest bez sensu, a więc e, skupia się na tym, żeby po prostu robić fajne rzeczy i, i z nadzieją, że się spodobają, a widzę, że, że się podobają. E, you, you wrote uh, songs for uh, Christina Aguilera, Backstreet Boys and many others. Uh, did you ever regret? giving away a really good song? No, I don't ever. Uh, I, I always, I'm always really happy to see what people do with it. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, I've only had, a, I usually tell the story that I've only had one regret where um, my record company made me keep a song that I wish somebody else sang. <laughs> I had a song that uh, Shakira wanted and, and, and uh, 
I just wish she would have sang the song, it would have been so much better. <laughs> so yeah, I have, I have deep regrets. Which, which, which one was it? Um, I, it's a song called Night Like This, it was on my last record. Yeah. I just think she would have been, it would have been so much sexier. Like, it's, it's, it's sweet when I sing it, but it would have been sexy when she, I would have been like... Do you think like that? What? No. I know. You're like, no, no. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to do this because I never, I never take any, I don't take any good Snapchats. Let's, let's take one of you guys. Do you want anything from, from right. them? First, um, I'll take of us. Hi. Hello. Okay, now. Hey. Poland. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys. The best Poland. <laughs> You're really good at this. Yeah. Do you like to keep in touch with your fans? Um, I do. Is it I possible? Do. I try, you know. Like I'm, uh, I'm on. Every, anyone who follows Twitter or whatever knows that I'm, uh, I'm on uh, a Twitter liking things, and and you know I try to like read them, and I hit like, so the person knows I read it. I don't know, you know. But then I keep getting behind, and then. And then I scroll back to like kind of catch up because I feel bad if I miss something and someone's gonna be sad. And then I was like, then I like, then it just takes forever and I keep like trying to get back there. But you know, I can't be on Twitter all damn day. I got shit to do. <laughs> I gotta do like stuff. Songs. <laughs> yeah, I gotta write songs. There's a demand. Uh, and I'm um, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let me translate. Uh, także jeżeli ktoś chce się złapać z nią uh, w jakimś kontakcie bezpośrednim, co oczywiście jest utrudnione ze względu na uh, gigantyczną liczbę fanów, może złapać na Snapie albo na Twitterze na przykład, ale mam mnóstwo inny, innego gówna do zrobienia, żeby, <laughs> żeby skupić się na, tylko i wyłącznie na Twitterze. It's okay? See, yeah, see, I don't, I have no idea what you said and I didn't need to because I did my shit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was like, whatever he said. Is it, is it translator? Right? Yeah, 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 no, no okay. translator. Okay, so uh, tell me one thing. If you could choose among uh, any any living or not musician and, uh, and you could sing with, who would it be? Oh, wow. Um, hmm. I would probably love to sing with, uh, with you. Are you going to sing it? <laughs> I'd love to do like a, a, a Frank's with Frank Sinatra and just like you know like a younger Frank Sinatra when he like and just be like in a like a better suit than him and just be like yeah yeah just like classic better yeah just be classic like kind of like yeah like a cowboy standoff with Frank Sinatra singing I, I do harmony you know. Okay. Zapytam z kim chciałaby zaśpiewać i tutaj mamy nieograniczony wybór czy żywych czy też mówiąc wprost mniej żywych. Uh, I don't know why they're laughing, really. I don't know why they're laughing. <laughs> He's saying stuff that I didn't say. Uh, I stwierdziła, że Frank Sinatra, ale młody, czyli uh, wtedy, kiedy jeszcze, kiedy jeszcze miał klasę, kiedy, kiedy pasowały do niego garnitury i uh, właśnie o to chodzi, o to, żeby trzymać klasę i, i właśnie z nim. So that's, that's it, just one, one to one. Okay. Okay. Just wait till you come to America. I'm gonna be like. So anyway, he said that um, he doesn't like you guys, and he never has. He doesn't even know why he's sitting here. Okay, are you staying uh, for long here? Uh, I think tomorrow. I leave tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so, what can I wish you for the future? What can you wish me? Uh, more concerts in Poland. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, oh, for sure. I mean, I just. Uh, I hope that. You know, I hope that you guys will stick with me for however long I'm alive, I guess. And, uh, you know, and I, I, I'm really, I, I'm, I feel really, really honored to, like, connect to you guys. And thank you so much. It's really, it's like, again, it's like my life's work. It's like my ultimate pleasure to, um, to uh, have written a song that you like and that you need and you want. Thank you. I was waiting for... Oh. See? <laughs> yeah. You've probably never seen so many women in your life. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. For a woman. You like that? Zapytałem, czego można życzyć na przyszłość. Stwierdziła, że oczywiście tutaj padło odpowiedź, że więcej polskich koncertów, w sensie więcej koncertów w Polsce. Stwierdziła, że najfajniejsze jest to, co, co robi, czyli to, że, że doceniacie jej twórczość, doceniacie to, co robi i, i to jest najfajniejsze, to jest fantastyczne i dzięki temu i dlatego też warto to robić. One more thing. I heard that you are a great fan of Adventure Time, right? 
Love Adventure Time, yeah. <laughs> Respect for Jake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, to jeszcze tylko porzucam wam, and why is that? Why do I yeah. like Adventure Time? Because it's just silly and it's and it's sweet at the same time, you know. It's just like it, it's a, it reminds me of like being a kid, you know. It's just like the things that, um, you know, and then it has a little bit of the weird stuff in there, you know. Because I think even though you're a kid, um, and it, you still are like in you live in this world, so all this weird stuff is coming at you all the time, and it's you know and, and dark stuff and and wild stuff, and and we have to live in this world, so. But um, it's good to always kind of keep the little kid inside of you, and I feel like that that show does that really well. And it's really moving your imagination, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Like the the wild princess stuff. <laughs> I love it. Nie wiem czy kojarzycie po polsku, to się nazywa Pora na przygodę. W oryginale Adventure Time jest to fantastyczna kreskówka, bądź też film animowany, który pozwala jej pielęgnować w sobie to dziecko, które mamy. I... Oh, and there was Spongebob. Hello. Oh, and of course Spongebob. We love Spongebob. He always comes up on stage somehow. Ok, so this is, this is the end of the part one. Alright. Uh, they are asking if you can play something. Oh, jeez. Part of the thing. I don't, I don't know. know. It's, I don't it's know. your choice. Um. <laughs> the shortest song ever. <laughs> What if it's not in tune? Uh, so? You should be. You never choose Nostrayona. Man, what should I do? What do you want to hear? Yeah. Okay, I, I will be. Then I'll be the best. The best. Cheshire. What's your first name? Carol. Karol, so the mic stand is now called the Karol stand for... Karol stand. Yeah. Po to żyłem. Mic is, man. Anyway, alright, play a little bit of this song. Just a verse and a chorus. Okay? Yeah. I never tried to... there and 